All right, guys, you're gonna have to ignore my lovely earpiece here. Um, we got these new headphones with a microphone that hopefully will make my vlogging better. And here, oh, oh nope, my glasses just have glare. It is what it is. Um, hopefully this microphone will make it so that way when I'm vlogging and I'm out and about, you'll be able to hear me better. But I am at a store called Tomorrow's Antiques. They are moving to a much smaller space and they have um, not actual antiques, it's new furniture, but I picked up this really cool teak cabinet that was in their dent and ding specials. So I'm gonna grab it and I'll show you what it looks like. So here's the cabinet that I'm picking up. It's made of teak. It's made to look like an antique. Even though it's not, it's got like this cool um, uh, lock mechanism on it. And it's got shelves and it has this beautiful trim, but it's got, you can kind of see right there, it was damaged, the teak settled. So Zeb's gonna have to do a few repairs on it. But inside, it's got the finish, just much like the antiques. I don't know if you guys have seen these on a few of the cabinets we have. The little things go in there and then you can adjust the shelves, which is totally something they did on antiques, so that's kind of cool. And it's got this great back report, so I'm excited to get this finished. So we'll get this loaded up and you'll watch us transform it. Hopefully it turns out as amazing as I think it will be. So we got the cabinet loaded in. Sorry, I'm a little slow this morning. I just got done with the dentist, but we got the cabinet loaded in. It barely fits. We had to use a little bit of paracord. Hopefully my knots hold, but this Acadia is really doing extra duty today, fitting this all in. I seriously cannot wait to get this done. It's gonna be so pretty. All right, let's go. Okay, so this is the piece that you saw me pick up at the furniture store. It's got a few issues that we're gonna work through. This was imported from a very humid climate, so when it moved to dry old Utah, the teak had some issues. It's done cracking now, but we've gotta fix it. So we've got a crack that's right here on the crown. This crown actually comes off, so I'll take this piece off, and Zeb is gonna have to glue and clamp it and do a little bit of putty work, but I think that it's salvageable. If not, it actually comes off, so we could do it without it. And then the next thing that happened was this drawer really swelled. So I think that we're gonna take the drawer, the door off, drawer, it's not even a drawer, the door off, and then we're gonna to have to sand it down so that way it will slide better and not catch. You can also see that on the inside, the wood shrunk a little bit. I think I'm just gonna do some touch-up stain where you can see that it wasn't stained and leave the inside this pretty teak that's stained and paint just the outside. So originally it started at $1,200. They put it on sale for $600 and then because the store's closing and moving, they marked it down to $300. $300 was still a little bit much for me because I'm gonna be flipping it and I'm probably gonna get somewhere in like the $450 range after I fix everything. So I'm, I offered them a hundred and a quarter. They met me halfway at a hundred and a half. And I still think it's a great deal because the piece is beautiful. It is completely solid wood. It's made just the way the antique furniture was made. In fact, even the shelving mechanism is the same. So it's gonna look amazing painted and somebody's going to get something that looks like an antique, only it's not quite as old. Out here. There's smoothies out here? Yeah. Okay. Can you go get me a little Ziploc bag? Yeah! Thanks. Okay, so we couldn't just glue and clamp this because the wood had actually shrunk. So we took a thin piece of board, put it behind here, glued and stapled it on, and now I'm just taking plastic wood and I'm filling in the cracks with this. I really like plastic wood. It dries fast, it dries hard, and um, it also doesn't shrink. I bought the little teeny tiny can because it seems like once we use it, it dries out quick. So a little can and then I don't have to worry about wasting half a can. And really this is just for looks. It's being held together with the board that's on the back. And it's all gonna get painted.
So now, I don't know if you can see this or not, but there's drips. It is not from my paint job. It is from the factory finish. This piece was a $1,200 piece, and there is drips in their finish. Usually when it's a... Okay, just a minute, Jack. Usually when it's a stained piece, it's really hard to see the drips, but when you paint it, they pop right up. So I'm going to have to sand this smooth and repaint. So it's sanded smooth, but because I've exposed the wood, I'm going to go ahead and shellac it because I can almost guarantee it's going to bleed. So rather than wait and see if it does, I'm just going to seal it and go. This will control any bleed through from the tannins in the original wood, and then I'll be able to paint without worrying about it coming through. So what you're seeing me do here is I finished uh, painting this with fairy chalk mother and snowflake, and now I'm distressing. I'm using 220 grit, grit on my orbital sander, and I'm just going over, smoothing out the paint, and then taking off the paint around the edges. Um, not so much in the flat surfaces, but just where it would naturally wear. When I'm all finished with this, I'll get all the dust off of it and seal it with polyacrylic. So this is that hutch top that we cut the supports off of, and we're gonna make a shelf out of it. I just found the center of the hutch top here and I'm going to just put these hooks on them in even spacing. I'm going to put five so I'm just putting a middle hook in first and then we'll measure the other two out on each side and that's the easiest way to make sure they're evenly spaced. So to prove that we have other children, I've got my 12 year old daughter here, Odilia. She's our oldest daughter. And while I screw this one side in, she's going to set the intervals at nine and 19 and a half because that'll give me even spacing from the ends on these, this particular headboard. So she's gonna do that while I screw these in. Oh, did it shake it all over? Mm -hmm. Okay. And those are right where they need to be. All right. Well, thank you, sis. I'm back at it with my razor blade tricks. Don't judge. I hate taping off more than I hate razor blading. So this is another one of those keyhole ones. This is a replica piece, so that's a faux keyhole, but you still would have had to have the key to open it. It doesn't have, it, it never had knobs. So I'm gonna put a couple of knobs on here, just a little bit above that keyhole. And Jamie picked out these fun glass knobs. They're from Hobby Lobby. We always try to get them when they're 50% off because otherwise you spend a lot of money on knobs. Still spend a lot, a lot of money on knobs 50% off. Earlier I told you that I thought that these door locks were just faux replicas, but this door wasn't shutting well. And so I took a peek in the back side to see why it wasn't shutting, what it was rubbing on. And let me see if I can turn up the lights here. Look at what I found hiding in the cobwebs. Back in the corner, it fell down. Let me grab that out of there. The key for these locks. That's super exciting because we never have keys for this, this type of furniture. See if it works. Well, it just seems to be spinning in there. Well, maybe it is a fake. Oh! It's got to spin it a lot. There we go. Awesome.
We finally finished this hutch. I'm super excited to get it listed and sold. It's still like not 100% perfect, but we fixed the gap here. We sanded this so this door doesn't stick. We added some knobs for ease of use because it didn't have knobs and we found the key. Yep, best find of the week. I never find keys. So if you can find the key, it's awesome. <laughs> it adds to the value. We also got that shelf done that was like the but it's kind of salvage. It was the buffet top that somebody didn't want that we got out of that. Um, I think it was the same kind of wood. Yeah, yeah. it's teak too. Yeah. So it's also the same kind of wood. That's already sold. We'll put a picture of it in the shop at the end. So follow me on Instagram and Facebook and you'll know about things even before our videos are made. Also, go to jamierayvintage.com. This color is Snowflake by Fairy Chalk Mother and then it's sealed in polyacrylic. We've got our logo wear shirts. Don't forget, we've got our Patreon account. All that money is going towards helping us buy a fixer upper for our channel. Ugh, I can't even talk. A fixer upper for our channel. Anything else, Seb? Uh, no, I don't really have anything. I mostly stand here to make the furniture look better. Yeah, you're, you're, you're pretty cute. Okay. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> that, sure. might, that might not make the end. That might it, get cut. You put all kinds of dumb stuff with me in there. You better leave that in. Be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more DIY. That's what happens when you're the editor. <laughs> <laughs>